Good morning, everybody. This is my view out my window this morning. I'll oh, keep going that way. You're going to see some more reflection. It's too cold to go outside, so I'm not wanting to go out there. But um, I thought that was quite pretty coming up there, and I just wanted to share it. See reflections again, but um, see it goes all the way. There we go. That's better. How pretty is that? Okay, and of course breakfast is toast and coffee. And because this is my homemade toast, uh, my homemade toast, well it is. It's my homemade bread that I made in my bread maker yesterday. So of course I just want butter on that one and I'm watching General Stewart large family tea. Um, you can't see him very well from up there, but um, that's who I'm watching why I'm having my breakfast this morning. And sweetened. Which is good. Don't get into things. No, I know what you're doing. He's trying to see if there's goodies. Hey guys, so at the moment I'm making some bread. And it's just my um, going in my bread machine. So very, very simple and easy. Be done in a few hours. And we'll have fresh bread. As you know, I do like making my own bread also by hand, but Got a few things on today, so it is the bread machine's turn. So the packet comes within the little bags of bread, which is already pre-mixed and pre-measured out. So the yeast goes in first, as per my directions on my machine. Everybody's directions will be a little bit different. So if you are making bread, you need to have a look at your directions so I'll just tell you it says for a large loaf in the bread machine add the ingredients to the bread bowl in the order recommended by your bread machine instruction manual select the program longer cycles generally produce better results in the bread machine we needed to have water of 320 mils and a 400 gram sachet so the sachet, 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 that word always gets me. The sachet is already in there. And this is 350 mil, so I'll just withhold just a smidgen. And that's it, guys. I've just got to pop that into my bread machine and away we go. Okay, the dishwasher is now running. And I don't know why it's doing all this funny thing. When I'm looking at it, it's perfectly still. When I'm looking at it on the video here, yeah. You've got lights going everywhere, but no, everything's stationary um, where I'm looking at it. Anyhow, guys, I'm off to have a shower. Got a few more things to get done today. So, oh, sorry, I need to put a load of washing on, then I'm off to have a shower. Okay, drying is on. Washing is on. These are dry, I just need to get to fold this one. Yes, that one dry needs to get folded and that one needs to get washed. As you can see, I have a new washer and dryer. My husband has done the tiles. We've had them down for about a week now. He's going to still want to do the skirting um, tiles around there and we need to paint uh, as that is just the undercoat. But the cupboards have been in there for many years. And we'll get some new, we've got to paint obviously the door frame and the door and the doors, uh, the, what do you call it, the window surrounds there. We need to grab some more Venetian blinds or something that goes there. The Venetian blinds, as you can see, where we've been opening and shutting the door. So maybe not Venetian blinds, that would just sort of um, something put up, obviously, temporary. So we yet to decide on what window covers we want throughout the house. So we'll get there at some point. Okay, my bread has just beeped. It is lovely and crunchy. Let's get it out and have a look. Lovely, crunchy loaf. Um, it always turns out well. I haven't had a fail with making bread in my bread maker as yet it's a panasonic um i've had it for numerous years now and it's actually my second bread maker
And this is how lovely and fluffy it is on the inside. I know you're not meant to cut it once it's still hot and I've only just got it out. But if you're like me, this is my favorite time to have bread straight out of the oven. And I love the end piece. So that's what I'll be having now. And what do I like on my hot bread? Nothing but lashings of butter. Yum. It's my youngest daughter's 25th birthday and instead of buying her a cake, her partner decided to make her one and decorate it, which I thought was really sweet. Okay guys, so this is the meal plan I have finished for this week. So we're looking at what we had last night for dinner, which was a chili with Amish bread. So on Monday, we will be having, which is today, uh, fish in coconut cream sauce. We were going to have that last week. However, we didn't get around to doing that. So I've taken the fish out of the freezer and it's defrosting and we'll be having that tonight. I'll show you how I cook that. That's absolutely delicious. So we'll make that together. We're having steak and chips on a Tuesday with salad. On Wednesday, we're having chicken schnitzel and chips. And I would say, again, we'll have salad with that. On Thursday, we're having lasagna and garlic rolls, which will be homemade, of course. On Friday, we're having pizza buns and soup. At this stage, I think the soup is going to be pumpkin, um, but that is whether or not I can get a hold of pumpkin. I should be able to quite easily at the supermarket, but as you guys are probably aware, we're putting on our lists um, at the supermarket and a lot of the items are actually out of stock. So we'll see how we're going with that. And the pizza buns I'll also be making myself. Let's move this up a little bit so I can see. <laughs> on Saturday, we'll be having fried rice and honey chicken. So I've got my um, menu there, not my menu, my grocery list here. So we'll put all of that in and have that delivered, hopefully tomorrow or Wednesday. I'm not sure when, but um, I'm hoping for tomorrow. So I best get a little wriggle on and get on to the Woolies website and see when I can get my order delivered and pop this through. I shall talk to you soon. This is the um, the coconut cream fish that we're actually making. So it's fish in a coconut cream sauce. So what I've got in here is some chili, onion, and spring onion, and garlic. And then I've popped in the fish, and we're just sauteing this in through here. Then what we're going to do is add in some coconut cream. And then we'll decide what other things we want to put in, like salt and pepper, obviously. But if we need to put in um, some other herbs and spices, um, according to our taste and how we like it. I'll show you once it's actually done.